fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to show you some of the fun goodies that I found from the folks over at FG Normal. So I'm just going to dive in. I've got some really fun things to show you guys. All right and then these you can see these they are keychains. I like getting these off the canvas ones because they're easy wins. All right so a pretty standard toolkit boat plate of wax pink pen you get five different keychains, and they're all these very pretty rainbow hearts, which I just thought was really pretty. If you wanted to do them for pride or just because you like rainbows, lots of people love rainbows. You've got the little keychains and chain hooks here, and then we've got our drills. It looks like these are all the same, it's all the same pattern. So once you get get kind of the pattern down. So this actually makes it a little bit easier than most keychains because all the other keychain sets, usually each one will be slightly different. So you kind of have to open all the bags at once and do it. This way you can just kind of do them all at once because all of them are kind of going the same place. So that's fun. And then you have keychains that you could share with someone else. All right, let me get the drills out of the bag. All right, so let's look at our drills here. Let me start with the rhinestones. Ooh. All right, so we've got, ooh, these very pretty clear iridescent. I don't think I've seen any like this before. That's very pretty. And then we've got a red, an orange, a yellow, a green, a light blue, a purple, kind of a smoky gray. And then we've got, gosh, those very teeny tiny purple teardrop shapes. We've got some small, uh, round pearls. We've got some round iridescent. We've got some large pearls. And then we've got some large kind of turquoise colored uh, teardrop shapes. And then we've got some pink marquee shapes. So those will be really fun. I actually was, you know, again, these kind of off the canvas ones are sort of quick wins, what I term quick wins. So this is iridescent one the symbol is a triangle so it kind of goes all around the outsides here so yeah I really that's a really fun color I've not seen one that color before all right let me get these drills put put away and I'll be back with the next kit all right the next one I've got is kind of it's, it's a retro one which is why I found it appealing every time I go to look for kits one of the things that I look for is retro slash vintage kits because I just I like a lot of what they term vintage or retro styles that also includes things like uh, you know the mukas and everything else but all right so standard kit boat plate of wax pink pen the drills come in baggies Ooh, look at those colors and this one is just I thought this would be fun for like people who have home theaters or something just to have something kind of like this my husband wanted to have, he would love to have a theater room and he would love to have a popcorn machine in his theater room don't think he's going to get that but okay so this is a 30 by 40 we've got 19 colors we do have a schematic on both sides and we do have our dmc codes so that's great so it is nice and sticky and it just says retro cinema and then you've got uh, kind of all this popcorn. I thought it would be fun. It's going to be quite a bit of multi-placing. You can see here um, the background colors are all kind of multi-placing. And then there's a little bit of confetti down here where the popcorn is. Let's measure this. It says 30 by 40. So it is 25 by almost 35. Now let's look at the drills. All right. So... As expected, we've got a ton of this yellow, which is going to be the background, some of the words here, and some of the popcorn. So we've got that. We've got this very vibrant kind of watermelon red. We've got a dark brown, a peach, kind of an orangish red, another dark brown, a very light tan, another peach, a gray, another light brown. And then we've got like a berry pink. Love that color. There's like a salmon pink, like a brick red. 
There's another kind of very vibrant peach, an olive green, a very, very pale tan, kind of a sage green, a gray, and then a light yellow. Love these two colors. And this is gonna be the main color of the red background here and then all the stripes on the uh, popcorn boxes. So yeah, this one will be super cute. All right, and this one, oh gosh, I don't know if I told you guys any of the prices. The um, keychains were $8.79 and this one is $6.27. So let me put the drills back in and then I'll be right back to show you the last one. And the last kit today, you guys, I've been on a kick. I'm sure you can see, you can tell. I know I've shown you quite a few of these, but I just love, love the artwork and love that it is becoming more readily available to people. I'm hoping that they will take the hint and start doing some of these public domain arts by other artists. All right, so here we go. Here's our drills. Not my favorite, the 200 drill bags, but all right. Standard toolkit, boat, plate of wax, pink pen. And guys, this one is a bit smaller, but it's another Mooka. And look how cute this one is. Now, I don't know if there's a size limit for Summer with the Masters, but I think this kits like this make it more accessible for people who want to do those kind of events. And like I said, really happy to see more of these kind of vintage artworks showing up on the budget company sites. I think I need to order some by Maxfield Parrish. I really love him and I've not seen anybody carrying any of his art. I do need to go check and make sure that he's in public domain. I think he is, but I could be wrong. So, okay. So this one is actually called The Laurel from, I think it said 1901 when I looked it up. So sort of that typical Art Nouveau style, you've got these kind of frame, you know, pieces down at the top and bottom, the circular window, and then you've got this very pretty profile of this lovely woman. So we've got 20 colors, schematic on both sides. We do have DMC codes. It is a 30 by 40. It is nice and sticky. It does look like there is quite a bit of confetti in this. Even in this big section here, there's confetti. Maybe it looks like her face is about the only place that there's some multi-placing. So if confetti isn't your thing, maybe not for you. But I think that goes for pretty much any of the old master's work. They're just gonna be, they're gonna be confetti heavy just because that was the art style. Okay, so this one was 30 by 40. Let's measure. It is 25 by 35. So 25 by 35. And this one is $6.27. Now let's get into the drills. All right, I did have a bit of a look while I was pulling out the drills to see if there was anything that I thought would give me trouble as far as symbol wise. And I think it looks really good. I don't see anything that I think would give me any issues. So we've got a very pretty kind of turquoise color. We've got some very dark brown. We've got a very pretty dark turquoise. We've got like a kind of mustardy brown. We've got a caramel brown. We've got a light gray, a green. That is like a very light olive green. We've got another caramel color. We've got another turquoise. Then of course, we've got some very pale yellow, some spring green, some even paler yellow. I'm gonna assume that's probably for her skin. We've got some coral some sage green, some peach, some very, whoo, throwing them around here, some very pale, like mint blue. We've got another like mustardy brown, some very dark peach, and then we've got a couple different shades of green here. We've got like a light green and then a true green. So yeah, again, you guys are probably sick of Mooka, and I'm sorry, but I just love the Art Nouveau style. I should find a different Art Nouveau artist, but this is what I, I came across, and I really like this one. And I've not seen this actual one anywhere else, and I really like the greens and the reds of it. So these pretty coral colors I think will be really pretty. All right, let me get these back in the box, and I'll be right back. 
All right, so just to recap, we've got our lovely kind of green and coral mo mocha here. <laughs> mocha. Our green and coral mocha. We've got our kind of retro cinema poster for our game room or our movie theater. We've got our rainbow keychains. I will, as always, put links in the description box down below to all of these so that you can check them out for yourself or anything else that might catch your eye while you're there. Before you leave, guys, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.